What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. We're going to talk about several different topics in this video here today. We'll be talking about Scream 6. We'll be talking about The Conjuring. We'll be talking about The Last of Us. And we'll be talking about Tremors, the Tremors franchise, briefly. Uh, just, just to kick it off with Scream 6. Scream 6 will have a Super Bowl ad at this year's upcoming event from Paramount. And of course, it'll have other spots in its, in its slate but Scream 6 is one of them. This is something that many people like myself were hoping for. A lot of people were curious as to whether or not this would be why we hadn't seen too much marketing going on. And this kind of now gives people a sigh of relief when they see that they had this big marketing tactic plan related to the Super Bowl. So this to me indicates a lot of confidence in this upcoming sequel deadline broke the news yesterday and it has gotten a few people in the fandom excited it's bothered the nev campbell community and it's raised a lot of questions for me as to why they're doing this now some of the reasons they could be doing this for starters this would obviously be a tremendous way to get scream six some much needed attention at an event that averages over a hundred million viewers i believe and then of course everyone in attendance secondly jenna ortega has gained so much star power that this would be a great way to let casual fans of her know that she has another project on the way very soon or just casual wednesday fans thirdly for me this seems to be tied to how successful Scream 5 was for Paramount last year, and thus they are willing to invest in this franchise a lot more than last time, I would say. Even though people would argue the marketing was better last time, something of this magnitude and how expensive it is to get spots like this tells me that they are willing to invest in this IP going off of the success of 5. Now, this alone is the biggest marketing tool that they've done so far, and I cannot wait to see what it includes. The footage that is going to be showcased in the TV spot is most likely going to be a new crop of footage mixed in with stuff we've already seen possibly from different angles maybe an extended look at the bodega sequence hopefully we get more shots of kirby reed and gail weathers but we'll see what happens so just to jump into the conjuring universe and talk specifically about the main series which we know is the conjuring that started in 2013 with ed and lorraine warren uh related to its main set of movies with ed and lorraine warren this series could be ending with The Conjuring 4. Now, James Wan had this interview with Collider last month in January where he discussed the process of working on these movies and The Conjuring 4 by saying, yeah, we are working on it right now. With The Conjuring films, we are very precious about them. And so we want, and so we kind of want to just take our time to make sure we get it right and to make sure the emotion of the Warren stories that we want to tell and moving into and potentially wrapping up, we just want to make sure that it is the right thing the right story that we're telling when asked if four would be the last one basically said you never know and we will see so four isn't going to for sure be the conjuring movies conclusion uh i always felt that what the conjuring movies did so well the three that we've got anyway they do a great job at making every film wrap up with no need to drag the previous investigation into a sequel. And I think that's mostly what Juan was referring to. But they do a good job. And of course, we know it has several spinoffs at this point. They do a great job at establishing certain characters or certain villains uh, like Valak and allowing those to see potential in spinoffs. But they never tell stories about the cases they're working on in a manner in which it's left to bleed into a sequel the case is always resolved in that one contained movie i like how they always felt contained each case never bleeds into the other because they could always take their liberties with this fictional piece of work that they're doing and just stretch out these cases into sequels uh but they don't do that so we'll see if the conjuring four is going to actually be the end i doubt it will be i think what mostly Juan was getting at was the fact that each investigation in these movies always has a wrap-up to it of sorts it never feels like it is going to bleed into the next one we always know that the next movie is going to focus on a different case unless this villain that was established in this case is going to get its own spinoff movie stuff like that but just to go into the last of us so the last of us season two has been confirmed the series continues to be a success in terms of viewership over at hbo with over 22 million viewers in total across several platforms is what i've read um this is what was said by some of the producers, some of the executive producers are one of them anyway. I'm humbled, honored, and frankly overwhelmed that so many people have tuned in and connected with our retelling of Joel and Ellie's journey, said executive producer Neil Druckmann. The collaboration with Craig Mazin, our incredible cast and crew, and HBO, HBO exceeded my already high expectations. Now we have the absolute pleasure of being able to do it again with season two. Season two, to me, most likely is going to have to be set on that game that recently came out. 
Admittedly, I have never played the second game, so I'm going to take my time to do that in the near future. So by the time part two came out, uh, what had happened was I just wasn't a kid anymore, so therefore I didn't really care too much to pick this game up and play it. I was always intrigued to play it. I said I would give it a chance at some point. I started to gain interest in playing part two once the show adaptation was announced, and now I have grown even more anticipated to play that game once I finish this first season of this show. And I definitely will make sure to play it before I see season two when that drops. So you guys can let me know what you want to see out of The Last of Us season two. I'm certain there are certain bits from the game The Last of Us Part 2 that people want altered and hope that they can tweak those errors by adapting it better into the into the television show because I already know there's things about the second game that people have gripes with so let me know what you want to see from the second season down in the comment section below last thing we're going to talk about is Kevin Bacon who is down for another fight against Graboids in a Tremors sequel when asked about it by a fan over on Twitter, Bacon responded with, I'm just waiting for the call. So these films, to my knowledge, haven't they been direct to DVD since the sequel started in the 90s? I mean, I gave up on this franchise a, a long time ago. I didn't stop watching the sequels. I just gave up in the sense that I never turned them on expecting much. The first one, I believe, is the best. I'm sure many other people would argue that it is the best. Some other people will probably argue that the first movie is trash, but I'd be down to see a true legacy sequel with Val as the central character that we follow. And maybe you could even bring back stars from the original film besides Bacon, like Ariana, who played Mindy. And she plays Lex from Jurassic Park for anyone who was like, who the hell is Ariana? <laughs> Earl, of course, cannot join us, sadly, and rest in peace to Fred Ward. But you can always find a way to make it work in the sense of... You can always find a way to make uh, Earl important to the story in some type of manner, the same way they were able to make deceased actors who played characters in other movies relevant still to the plot. You can always use that in some capacity still in a true legacy sequel to Tremors. What would you like to see from a Tremors legacy sequel? Let me know down in the comment section below. Uh, please, at this point, when it comes to Tremors, just give me a movie with someone besides Bert, because Bert is in almost nearly every single one, I think. Let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe. Turn on post notifications so that you never miss a video. In the description, I will have links to all my social media accounts. I am on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course, to let me know if there are any movies, news, or reviews you would like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.